my friends and welcome back to the bench. Today it's a quick video. We're going to be going over airbrushing nail polish. Now I did a video on this a while ago, but uh, I got a lot of feedback and questions and uh, I figured I'd do another video. We'll use different colors and uh, we'll just do this quick. And uh, yeah, so it doesn't matter pretty much what you're going to use here. I have a whole variety here. Um, these are mostly lacquers and um, that's this uh, OPI brand I find really good but of course they cost a lot more than these other brands uh, but I'd still get good results with dollar store stuff um, this uh, pop Arazi is actually I think it's two bucks at my local target and uh, and CVS carries them too and oh yep here they CVS so these are pretty uh, inexpensive um, I don't know where I got these glazes from, but you can see it'll say nail lacquer on it with hardeners in it. And uh, this is pretty durable. Uh, the only reason I would use these is they have very unique colors and they're mega durable. Obviously, if you know, if you've seen uh, my, when my wife has her nails painted, it is durable. I mean, it, it takes a lot to get it off. And um, to rub it off, it's acetone is what they would use. <coughs> you can use acetone like this. But uh, as far as thinning goes, I don't like to use a harsh thinner, which acetone is. I have a, a friend who actually believes in it, and um, he has good luck with it. I think it might he might be uh, going over different surfaces, metal maybe. But when we use it for plastic, uh, I like to use a uh, hobby grade thinner. These thinners aren't as hot as the hardware store stuff. So when I do it, I thin mine with this Mr. Hobby thinner. And uh, I love that stuff. I use it for everything. You don't need the leveling on this. Uh, I'll use my basic thinner on this. And uh, yeah, you want to thin it uh, one to one or 50-50, without you know whatever the ratio you guys want to use. And uh, I do have examples of all these painted. It doesn't. I mean, there's thousands of colors, so there's no real complete collection. I think I was walking through a Walmart and saw this mat. It actually says "mat" on it, and the jar is satin to reflect to tell you it's matte and then I saw this I think the other day at a Walmart and it's a really deep nice orange so I wanted to try this I never tried this brand before but again they're mostly all the same but they do have some really intense crystal colors look at that so um, and let me see there's another there's kind of like I don't want to say color shift but uh, as you've seen in my picture uh, there's a really deep you get really beautiful results over a darker color. So you're going to get the same thing kind of with the hobby paints that we use here. Different base, different result. Now I have not, because I have 2K, I haven't tried the clears at all. I have two clears here. Uh, this is LA Colors, a base. Now this is cheap. Probably a dollar store item. And then I have this uh, paparazzi from the other ones. I think these are like two bucks. And this is another clear. We would thin it the same. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll test this. I've never tested it. So hey, we'll do it on camera. Why not? Anyway, I picked a few colors I'm gonna airbrush. And uh, I do like this purple I had just purchased. And this is uh, some kind of dark brownish steel. Really unique. That's what we're looking for. Different colors. And I thought this blue was good looking. You can see the shimmer it has. I love blues. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So let me go ahead and show you how we're gonna thin it. All right, I'm shaking this up quite a bit. All right, I'm just going to pour some in. Look how thick. Matter of fact, we're not even going to need that much because that's going to thin out quite a bit. Oh, it's a beautiful color. Wow, it is a good looking color, guys. So, yeah, that's all. We're just going to test. I'm just going to show it on a few spoons just to show you guys how to get it done. But you can see how thick it is. I'll flip it over. Look at that. That's some of my hand. Let me wipe that off. That is thick. So now you're going to go minimum, minimum 50-50 or one-to-one. -one. I would actually go, uh, you know, four to six, four parts paint, six parts thinner. I mean, this is very thick. Some of these aren't as thick as that. So I'm just going to play it by eye here and just toss some in here. I want to show you what it looks like once it's thinned. Look at that. I like to 
put it on the surface and give it this swirl. Picks up all the metallic on the bottom. There we go, see it? Almost all done. And then what you want to do is you want to give it a final really quick stir before you pour it into the airbrush. The airbrush we'll use today, let me see what's over here. We use my Badger, just to show you we can use anything. I use my Badger Patriot 105. We're going to spray this at 15 PSI only because the Badger Patriot calls for 15 PSI. Um, some of these have a very heavy metallic flake in them. And for that, I don't have any here. Hey, you can see a little bit here. Let's see. Look at that. So uh, you want to go the larger needle, particularly on these metallics. Um, I think this is a 0.7, and my other one's a 0.5. So uh, the, the Badger seems to push out really easy, a lot of these heavy metallic colors. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Badger for this test. And uh, all right, this is ready to go. See, it? it's got that thinness to it. You leave a little trail as you drag it up the cup. I can use my hand to show you guys. See that? You want to drag the paint. If it leaves a little trail, we're good to go. But it can be super thin. It's just like uh, my regular lacquer paints. All right, let's uh, let's try a different brand here and um, see if it's any thicker or not. So let's grab another cup and go ahead. Yeah, this one seems to be a little thinner. Yep, it's pouring in a little bit better. See it? Yep. Ooh, another good looking color here. This is some kind of brown steel color. You can see the flake in it though. See that? While we're at it, let's see what this third one looks like. How thick that is. Same brand though, I think, right? Yeah, I think this is the same brand. Beautiful purple. Let's get this so you guys can see this. Alright, here we go. Yeah, this one's even thinner than that one. Not sure why. It's a pretty heavy metallic. Look at that. What a beautiful color. Go catch it all. These jars are nice and neat to keep, too. Look at that. Again, it's thick like the first one. Let's go ahead. We'll do it by eye. I'm going to go about at least half of this eyedropper. Right in. And a little bit more on that one. All right, let's see what we get. Yep, just like the blue. A little base spin here. And there you go. Like I said, you want to make sure you, you toss it quite a bit as you're pouring it into the airbrush. Work with it right away because the, the flakes in these will start settling. All right. Same thing. We're going to drag it up the side. Leaves a little bit of a trail. Good to go. Let's look at this one. And then we'll head over to the booth. And I'll show you how this stuff lays out. Now this one, you can really see the flake. Now when I go to spray this, you guys are going to see little flakes, like little snowflakes flying in the booth. Uh, you literally can see the flakes flying. Enough lands on the piece too, but it's pretty funny. I got some black spoon, so we'll try this over a black base. All right, guys, that's it. We're going to head over to the booth. We're going to clean the airbrush out with acetone. This is the... Uh, Seven to ten dollar can I get at my Lowe's or Walmart, and they sell this everywhere. This is what you want to clean out your airbrush with once you're done. Don't worry about the fittings and whatnot, these are all solvent proof fittings. Anyway, guys, let's head over to the Pace spray booth and watch how good this stuff looks. We'll see you there. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. First up will be this blue 424. They usually have some funky names A Wired, it just says Wired. All right, well. We're in the cup, is it? And uh, yeah, let's try it over white first. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Now, if you're not using a Badger airbrush, but in particular this uh, Patriot, um, you're going to go more PSI. Definitely going to go more PSI. It's the Patriot itself uses very little air pressure to power it. Uh, we'll leave that sit. We'll coat it again. You can see the nice blue. Let's try it over black. Oh, tough to see, but it's got that nice, oh, really nice looking. Wow. Can you see it? Look at that.
That is nice. Look at that, guys. Yeah, these colors, particularly these pearls, they look really good over a dark color. That's all you're going to get over white. Check this. Let's see how we get over a blue piece. Let's see what we get. I'm going to try and paint half of this piece. So we can see the results. Yeah, it shined it right up. Look at the original. We'll go over this at the bench. But uh, it adds a little pearl to it, obviously. Boy, not bad. But it really, really shines over a dark, dark base like the black. Let me put this aside. One second. All right. Let's add a little bit more to the white, and we'll move on to the next color. Yeah, it's probably all we're going to get. But all that matters is the dark one. Check this out. Oh, yes. Wow, that's a great color. All right, guys, let me clean this out. Use a little bit of acetone. I'll be right back with the next color. All right, guys, next up is that uh, brownish steel color. Like I said, see it all came off the base? That's it. But you want to give it a little stir like this. A little even a swirl. And then, see now you can see all the metallic comes to the surface. And then you want to pour it in the cup and get the spray in. Usually, you want to do that with these real heavy metallic-y colors. That's the technical term. So, let's go to town. All right. Again, let's try it over black. Can you see the sparklies on it already? <laughs> you know what? This would look great with a clear over it. Maybe I'll do that later and put it on my community page. Look at that. All right, let's try it over white. Yeah, I figured this would show up a little more over white because it's a dark, it's a, a brown base. Pretty unique. Getting some chunks in it though. I'll show you at the bench. Um, Let's try it over. Hold on. Let me see if I get some gray primer stuff here. Hold on, guys. One second. Let me grab some gray primer. Hey, guys. I found one better. Red Oxide. This is uh, Tamiya's uh, spray can primer, that red oxide color. That matches this brown pretty good. Let's see. Get some of the dust off of here first. Oh, yeah. This, yeah, yeah. You can get some really good combos here if you think about it. You're putting out a clear over this, a clear brown. You're going to get a really unique, uh, really unique base. I'm just going to go over everything a little bit more. I think we're good. All right, move on to the last color. Maybe we'll try one of the clears. All right, guys, last color we're going to test here is this purple. Does that have a crazy name? Let's talk. I guess that is that it? Let's talk. Yeah. That's not a good name. All right. Let's talk. Let's do it. Over black. Oh, yeah. This, <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, yeah, that's a color. Now this is nice. It doesn't have, oh man, it's almost like instant candy. This is a great color. Um, wow, look at that. Let's try it over, uh, I got a gumpla piece here. I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's see what we get. I'm just gonna put it over the top and see if we get some kind of, it's probably gonna end up kind of like color shifting. Yep, I think that's what we're gonna get. So yeah, look at that. Awesome. All right, let me put that aside. I can put that on my rack over here. Uh, 
I don't know what to put it over. Should we put it over white? Let's see what we got. It's pretty it's a pretty intense color, so this should show up. Uh, I don't like them on white. I, they got to go over that black. That's the that's the. Now again, if you're gonna do an opaque color, this is, eh. I don't like it. Not bad, but this is the look. Look at that. That's the way to go. All right, guys, let me clean this out. I'll put some clear in. We'll see how that looks. I'll put uh, I'll put it over some flat spoons here. Let me see what I got. Look, I got this dull red. We'll try it. And see if the clear works on that. All right, let me clean this out, and we'll put on the clear and wrap this up. All right, guys, here we go. I got the clear. I used this one, the LA base and top coat. Thinned up the same ratio. I figured let's try it over some nail polish. I have this already labeled nail polish. So let's see how it goes over its own. Oh, beautiful! Wow. Look at that. Yeah, it goes on really nice. Wow. I don't know if it'll work over any of these. Because these might be... Uh, uh, oh, it's SMS. Midnight Blue. Let's see if it'll work over uh, a paint brand. Boy, I'm a little slower. You want to go on wet. All right, and that was that was a flat as flat can be. So if it dries like this, we're looking at a nice cheap uh, alternative here for a clear. But it's beautiful over its own. Uh, as far as painting it over a uh, nail polish, that's for sure. Well, let's see if it'll affect chrome. Let's see. I don't even know what brand chrome this is. It's not a good example, that's for sure. No, it's doing what all the other ones do. It clouds it up. <laughs> it did nothing. <laughs> oh well. Well, I do like it. Let's see how it goes over uh, plastic. Yeah, it it uh, it likes the plastic, but the plastic is almost like your fingernail, you know. Beautiful. All right. All right. Let me put that aside. All right, guys. Let me clean this out. Meet you back at the bench, and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, here we are with the results, and um, really nice, uh, real nice. Here is this uh, brownish, I don't even know what this is, but uh, here it is over black. Hold on, guys, let me reach for my cardboard here so we can see it a little nicer. Again, I think this will look great with a clear over it. One of the clears maybe from All Clad or Mr. Hobby. This is it over the oxide red primer. Over white. White is underwhelming. <laughs> it needs to, a lot of these need to go over a dark base, that's for sure. All right, here is this blue, which is uh, fantastic. Look at that. It almost looks like that uh, My Galaxy one from my Mecha Empire lineup. This is it over white. And here it is half. Now this half is not done. You can see it's dull. And this is where it went on. It's got a little, it's hard to see, boy, on camera. It's got a little bit of a pearl shimmer to it. But these really shine over black. See, there's the purple, and this is it over black. I mean, that's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Almost a candy right out of the jar. So, over white, underwhelming, but not bad totally different color and I tried it over this dark blue piece and look at the purple look at it check that out it's a uh, it's almost like a color shift yeah and this is it normally Wow nice what else we, oh we did the clear All right this is the clear this is over tango where is tango it's over here somewhere yeah right there this is Papa Razi Tango with a clear over it. Look at that. 
This is the clear over that matte blue. Now it's semi-gloss, so I think this is going to need two coats because I think the paint sucked it in. It would need a couple of coats. But here it is over plastic, and look at that shine. Here's the plastic normally on this side. And then come around here, and look at that. It's like mirror glass shine finish. Look at that. So it does work. All right, guys, what I figured I'd show you is a little bit of a roundup here. So let's get these out of the way. And uh, I'll go through them quick. Here is that matte orange. All right, let's see what we got here. Ravishing Gown. That's the one I showed uh, in my picture. I believe it's right here. Yep, this purple over black. Look what it came out to be. This is the matte orange brushed on. Look at it brushed on. Now, we know these brush on good. There's a brush in them, and that's how you put them on. So you're going to get no brush strokes at all because they're going to level themselves. Look at how good that came out. And this is it airbrushed. Lighter in tone once it airbrushed. So, yeah, this really isn't a color comparison video. This is just to show you how it goes, how, uh, you know, how they go on. This is Glam. Where is Glam? Right here? Nope. It's a silver one called Glam. Here it is. See that? Looks different once I laid it down. This is over a gray primer. Let's grab them all here. Let's grab a whole bunch. Here's the fluorescent, I would call this neon. Look at that. Oh, it's got a mark on it. Oh, there it is. Brushed it off. All right. Museum. This is the one I showed in my picture. This is it over the oxide, and this is it over black. Kooky, kooky name. Look at this. Now museum. Now you don't. Look at that. OPI. 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 Really good stuff. You're gonna pay a lot more though. I guess the point is to save money. But this, if you got a color you're looking for, hard to beat. But anyway, that is it, guys. That's how it goes on. I mean, they just they just lay down beautifully. Look at this red. And I put the clear over it. I think, let's see what red this is before I go here. I think it's this one. Yep, in a fair and red square with 2K. I put my 2K gloss over it. Look, at you really can't beat 2K gloss. That is beautiful. That's a good combo right there. Anyway, guys, it's that simple. It's that easy. Thin it with, uh, I use Mr. Color, Mr. Color Thinner. You can use, uh, I like all hobby grade thinners, so I recommend any lacquer from a hobby brand. Um, you can't do no wrong with this. I keep a ton, I have a, actually keep a case of this thinners in my room here because I use it for just about everything. And I have mine for my Mecha Empire, which is kind of the same formula. And uh, it works great. Anyway, guys, look at all that. A sea, a rainbow of colors. And uh, yeah, you're going to get great colors, great results. And the colors are quite unique. And if you shop right, you can get them cheap. Particularly some of these LA color ones and uh, this pop Brazi ones. A couple bucks, and you're on on your way. Beautiful colors. Anyway, guys, it's that easy. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's big. A lot more to come up. I'm not going to say Happy Thanksgiving. I will if I don't anybody come around on Thanksgiving because I'm posting a video on Thanksgiving. Yes, I will see you Thursday. I'm going to do the video on. Uh, Scribing tools and accessories, all for panel lining and scribing. It's going to be a great video. Uh, lots of stuff coming up. A lot more paint tests and a bunch of airbrush tests, too, coming up. So we will see you on Thursday. If I don't see you, have a happy Thanksgiving. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.